everyone and welcome back to another video. This should be my Sunday meal prep video but I actually don't have a lot to meal prep this week. There will be some meal prep later on tomorrow but this is actually Saturday. I'm starting this vlog now because what I thought I would show you is a little day in the life taking you through what we're doing for Halloween. It's not all that exciting to be honest with you <laughs> but we're just doing a lot of, I mean Ali's a teenager so He's not really into all the Halloween stuff that he would have been when he was younger. So we're, I mean, it generally just involves watching a lot of movies tomorrow. And he's going to make some cookies and all that. And I will show you that tomorrow. But I'm actually starting to get ready for it tonight. Because I'm going to put some decorations up. I have not done this for years. We've not had a Halloween party for about six years? Seven years? Might be longer than that since Ali was really little. And I actually think Ali might have had the chicken pox just before our last Halloween party. It was very nearly cancelled. So a few months ago when I was working on my lockdown to-do to list, sorry Ali's, Ali's watching the Hearts Hibs game. It's a very important game to him today. So you may hear him in the background shouting and banging and screaming or whatever. It'll just be because of the football. He's watching it upstairs. So while he's doing that, I want to put up these decorations. So what was I going to say? Oh yeah, if you've been watching my videos for a while, you may remember my lockdown to-do list video where I was cleaning out all my cupboards and I had a cupboard in the bathroom. Well, I still got the cupboard in the bathroom. I've now actually changed that to like a pantry cupboard or a, we call it a larder in Scotland, but every, everywhere on YouTube they're called pantries. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear him, I can hear him. Um, and I found my Halloween decorations and I put them aside. They've actually been sitting in a corner in my bedroom to remind me that I'm going to put some Halloween decorations up this year. I don't do this every year, but it's only because, you know, kids can't go trick-or-treating. And I actually think, I've, I've been saying it quite often in a lot of recent videos, like my hauls and stuff, when I've been buying Ali some Halloween treats and that. I've been saying, I don't know if Ali would go trick-or-treating this year, or Geisen, as we say in Scotland. Don't know if he'd go guys in because he's just, he's coming up to 13. He will be 13 a week on Tuesday. In fact, actually, he'll be 13 the day that you guys are watching this video. It's Ali's birthday the day you guys are watching this video. Because these videos go out a week later. So he's very nearly 13. And I've been saying, I don't know if he'll be going guys in. But yes, he was actually saying earlier on that he probably would go guys in this year. Uh, I don't know if he's saying that just because he knows that he definitely can't go guys in. I don't know. Anyway, what I'm doing tonight is I'm actually going to put up my decorations. I'll show you. I don't know what state they are. Ah, I think I might have ripped my spider. I've not got many. I did used to have a lot more. I must have got rid of some or I've ruined some or that. Actually, let me show you what I've done for my nieces because they might be coming trick-or-treating. You're not allowed to go trick-or-treating, but they're just coming to my door. Literally, they're getting dressed up. And they're coming to my door. I'm going to give them their trick-or-treat sweeties and then they'll go away again. But I'll show you what I've done for them. So I had a few different kinds of sweeties. I think I had three bags of sweeties that you guys would have seen in Poundland hauls and whatever hauls that I've bought recently. Um, so I just put them... Well, I've got three nieces, but my brother has five kids. He's got two older boys who are 14 and 12. One of them's actually two months younger than Ali. And... Then he's got the three girls that I usually babysit. So when I was buying all this stuff, I was thinking I was going to have the girls quite a lot over Halloween and we could have done some stuff duking or whatever. But anyway, they're coming round tonight, hopefully. And even if they don't, I'll just give them these at another point. But I just made up these little... Oh, what are these bags called? They're not sandwich bags. They're like... I got a box of four at Costco and it was like snack bags, sandwich bags. Something else bag which is what this is, and the gallon bags. Oh, what are these? But I just filled them up so I could hand dump them and there's nobody fighting over all the, there's like popping candy in there. I think I've got four packets in each and then just various lollies, refresher chew, there's love hearts. I'm so gutted there wasn't a spare packet of love hearts because I love love hearts. Um, oh, these little, what are these? I like these, I love these. And there's Parma violets in some of the bags. I didn't put them in all the bags because Especially the younger girls, I didn't think they would like that. And yeah, so I've made up five little treat bags for them. I'm actually maybe going to look in my cupboard for something else for to put in them because they bags 
are pretty big. But I use these bags because these are the bags that I use least often. I use the snack ones and the sandwich ones a lot for Ali's lunches. And the gallon ones I used for the freezers. Anyway, that's what I've done for them. I'll also show you Ali's little treat thing that I've made up for him. Well, I did have it all done nicely and then I thought I can't show you what's in it because it was so packed, like, tightly packed so I had to take it all out again. Hello Nala, are you sleeping? Have you been a sleepy girl? She literally just lies on the table the whole day and sleeps. Also ignore the state of my table, I've been getting Amazon deliveries galore. Um, so I've just filled the bottom of the bag with all the kind of treats and that that I got the nieces and nephews, whatever was left over I gave it to him. And then I've got him a Halloween cup at Morrison's. I mean, he's probably not going to love this, but I just thought it was too cute, the little Frankenstein and pumpkin and that. So you can have whatever drink that he's having tomorrow in that. Did I tell you that we're celebrating it tomorrow? We're celebrating Halloween tomorrow on Sunday because, well, this whole time I've been thinking Halloween was the Sunday. I thought the 31st was the Sunday. And it was only just like a week ago that I realised, sorry, not not even a week ago probably, Ali was like, do you know it's Halloween on Saturday and not Sunday? And I was like, oh no, I'm working on Saturday. So we decided that it would be cool if we just celebrate Halloween tomorrow. We do have our pumpkin over here. We're going to carve that tomorrow. I might do it tonight, I don't know, we'll see where the night takes us. I think ellie has got a lot of football games that he wants to watch tonight though. Um, so this doesn't fit in his bag but I got him a little jelly bat, I got that from Poundland I think. And he's got a little solar wobbler, where did I get that? Was that Poundland as well? It's a little mummy, I think that was Poundland. I remember making the video for this and shaking like the mummy. And he's got some Oreos. I hope he doesn't come down. I can only fit one of these in the bag but it's like the sour candy floss. So he's got two tubs, but I can only fit one in the bag. And then this is a IV blood bag thing. It's like candy blood. <laughs> and they suck it out the tube there. And I've got him some spicy jalapenos. I just wanted to get him like a Halloween themed savoury snack, but that he could watch while we're... No, Nala, this isn't for you. None of this is for you. Um, but there, there really isn't any Halloween themed savoury snacks so I just got them these because I thought spicy equals Halloween scary. Oh and that's just a lolly. So I think, I feel like there's more than that. Oh yeah, in the cup. <laughs> in the cup it's, I've just put all the eggs so that I could fit it all in. All the eggs that I got from Pound Shop. I only ordered one egg, eh, no I ordered two and they sent me four. And they're like Halloween themed cream egg type things. I think it's caramel or chocolate. Nala! Anyway, that's what I've got Ali and I'm yet to decide whether I'm giving him it tonight or tomorrow. I'll show you it when I've actually put it all together again. There. That's what it looks like. I mean, I should have probably got him a bigger one but I didn't actually plan to get him quite as much stuff and also if I got him a bigger one I would have bought him more stuff and this stuff hopefully is going to last him a while. Right, decorating time. paper lantern things which kind of have seen better days. The other side of the spider doesn't open that side. He is open on the other side. But I love these things. I might try and get some more for Christmas actually. And then I've got my little ghost fake cacti thing and my little pumpkin one here. I think I need some candles. I don't have any Halloween themed candles but I feel like I need some tea lights. Happy Halloween! Jesus. 
Jesus. Good gravy. Ali! Language! Cheers. Oh. Well, you didn't get to go guys on. Oh my god, I remember this stuff. Have you had it before? But uh, only once. I remember I always wanted it at the shop, and then once I got me when remember when me and Lella went it what, that one night. Uh, we were late and I didn't get to go to my party. I remember getting it on that one that night. You've actually got two of them, but they wouldn't both fit. It's sour candy floss. Oh my god. Oh my god, thanks. Just FYI, you're not eating all that tonight. I am. Just, no, you're not. Yeah. And FYI, you're not eating it all in the next two days. <laughs> I did not expect this much. Jesus. Good gravy. Ali, stop swearing. <laughs> Wait, can you cut it? I'll puff to bleep it. I'll puff to bleep it. <laughs> totally just climbed up here to take a selfie with my spider. My nieces came round and they were so flipping cute dressed up as the a little witch and another one was a ghost or something and the other one had like makeup done and she had like a zip, an actual zip glued to her face and it went right down. It was so cool. Was they were so sweet. Caitlin? Oh, I didn't see her. I felt like I was even cold. Because you were upstairs watching the football. Ali's really happy because Hearts won tonight. He was very nervous because it went to extra time. Fiona, he said he'll see you in the final. <laughs> He's very confident at the minute because he just got a win against Hibs. For you guys that don't know, Hearts and Hibs is a big Edinburgh rivalry with football. I'm not really into football, but I find myself getting sucked into it because my son absolutely loves football. Anyway, we are just settling down. We've had our dinner and everything. Like I said, the girls have been round. The football's finished. Well, apart from the Barcelona one, but Ali's not watching that. He's just keeping updated with it on his phone. And we're going to settle down and watch Hocus Pocus. I don't know if we're going to watch anything else. Do you want to watch anything else? Maybe. Maybe it's going to make me watch some sort of really scary movie. I'm not into scary movies. My limit's probably Hocus Pocus. <laughs> I'm not in scary movies, but I know he's got to move. He loves horror movies. Anyway, I'll pick you guys back up in the morning when I'm actually going to do some cooking and you can join us for the rest of our Halloween activities. Good morning, everyone. It's now... Well, yeah, it's still morning, 20 past 11. Ali and I have just had our breakfast, which you would have seen on the on Friday on the meals of the week or what I eat in a week, whatever I'm calling it, I don't know yet. And I don't want to do too much today. This is mum's lazy day and time spent with Ali day. So I don't want to do too much food prep today, but I do want to get a start on tonight's dinner. We'll make tonight's dinner. And I do want to do another few bits. It's just going to make my life easier for the next few days while I'm at work and I feel really weird when I don't do any food prep. When I didn't do it a few weeks ago on the day that I was working on a Sunday, it was so weird. Like, I just felt so disorganised and I hate that feeling. So I've gave myself about an hour today just to get some quick bits done. It's really not a lot. It's really probably not that interesting. But I am going to make for today a creamy potato soup or it's called baked potato soup. It's a paneer bread, which is a sandwich restaurant thing chain in America. It's a copycat recipe from that and I've seen it so many times on so many YouTube channels. I thought I'm going to give it a try and I'm going to try and make it someone world friendly. I've completely eliminated the heavy cream that they all use in it, which might make it not so creamy, but I am going to put a little bit more of the Philadelphia lightest in it to make it someone world friendly. I'm not quite sure yet how many portions I'm going to get out of it, so I will see you later on and I'll be able to tell you what the sins are for it then. So I'm going to make that first. I'm also boiling some eggs at the minute because I've got a lot of soup in my freezer. If you saw my Meals of the Week video on Friday, you'll know that I'm just trying to use up a lot of my freezer stuff this week and get that emptied out, ready for all the Christmas food that's hopefully coming. <laughs> so I have a lot of soups in my freezer, so I'm just going to 
focus on having them for my lunches over the next couple of days while I'm at work and I thought I'll just boil some eggs and then I can have soup and some boiled eggs or maybe even turn it into some, uh, what do I call it? How many times have I made it as well and I forgot what it's called? Deviled eggs! <laughs> there you go. I get there in the end, my mind sometimes goes blank. So, devil, boiled eggs, soup, I'm going to cut up a melon because that snowball melon's been in my fridge for the last week, which I like to do with melons. I like to keep them till one of the last fruits that I use. So I've used all my berries and my satsumas. I've still got some pears, but I'm just taking them out like a couple at a time out of the fridge because sometimes they just ripen too quickly, especially at the minute because it's so cold outside my heating's on. They just over, they just go ripe too quick, like they go bad too quick even. So I've still got some pears. I'll get that melon ready. I'm going to prepare Ali's lunch for tomorrow, maybe for the next couple of days actually. I could make up the sandwiches for the next couple of days. That'll be easy enough. And yeah, I think that's it. So I'll give myself an hour. Let's hope I can get it all done in an hour. Let's start with the soup. So I'm just going to start by frying some onions. So I'm spraying some of the sunflower oil fry light. Sorry, I should say, I'm frying an onion and three garlic cloves because I've still got some fresh garlic left, so I'm going to use that up. I only bought it for my brother to make him pesto, but ended up with quite a bit left, so I'm using it so it doesn't go bad. And then I'm going to add four cups of potatoes. Remember, this is an American recipe yet again and they do all their measurements in cups. And then I'm going to add four cups of chicken stock. Oh, it's not melted properly, that one. Oh, it'll melt when it's... It'll melt better when it's cooking. And then I'm going to leave that to boil until the potatoes are done. I'm really sorry if you can hear the noise of the boiling in the background. While they're boiling away, I'm going to make some tuna mayonnaise because I think we'll just have some sandwiches with the soup instead of like a big, big dinner or anything. We'll have some soup and sandwiches. That'll be pretty filling. Last time I had soup for my main dinner, I couldn't even finish all the bread that I had actually and I didn't have any pudding. It, was, it filled me up and it was the only thing that I ate that day. So we'll see how I get on with that. Um, and I'm going to sneak a start on Ali's lunches. So that's Ali's lunch all ready for tomorrow. He's got one of these thins. He's got just spinach and what's he got on it? Spinach and hazlet and some mayonnaise. And then I've given him a sausage roll. He's got a bag of grapes and a bag of cucumber sticks. I've made the grapes for the whole week and I made a sandwich for Tuesday as well. I wouldn't make any further than that because it might go bad. But the cucumber I will cut every day because it dries out otherwise. And then he's got a cereal bar and I've got two of these little popping candy things that I got for the nieces and nephews Halloween treat bags. And Ali got some too. But I've got two that were left over so I've popped them in for him. And this is for his snack between... In the morning, between lunch and starting school, or vice versa. It's a jalapeno cheese, Max Strong. I love these, these are really nice. And his water bottle's ready as well. He's got lemon and lime water in that. So that's him sorted for a couple of days. And those potatoes are cooked through now. So I'm going to show you what I do in a minute. I meant to say, by the way, I also added a quarter of a teaspoon of the chipotle chilli flakes. That wasn't in the recipe that I found online, but I saw someone else doing it in a YouTube video. I can't remember who. It might have been Fit Frugal Mum, I think it might have been. She put chilli flakes in it. And I, you know me and Ali, we love her spicy food so i added a quarter teaspoon just i will try it and see but before i do that i'm going to scoop out just a little bit of the potatoes and onions because they're going to come to just take them out at the minute oh you too 
That's the cats fighting. Can you hear them? Simba! Oh, they're in one of the moods. Right, scoop them out and then with the rest I'm just going to blend it down. I'm actually going to... Yeah. the potatoes back in I'm also going to add the bacon which I prepared earlier I just chopped all the fat off of that and I'm going to let that cook for a few minutes just simmer for a few minutes to let the bacon cook through that won't take long because it's all chopped up into little bits Simba will you behave yourself you behave yourself you're putting me to shame on YouTube. That is how it's just looking just now. So like I said, I'll cook it for another few minutes and then I'll add the Philadelphia. So I'm just going to add my Philadelphia. I'm using the Philadelphia lightest and for the whole tub, it's just just over seven grams. Eh, seven sins, sorry, but I mean, you could say it's, it's 7.2 sins. You could say it's just seven or you could say it's seven and a half. I usually just count it as seven. I'm putting the whole tub in and just stir it until it's all melted in. That is so thick and creamy. I can imagine that being so delicious with a heavy cream, but I'm not adding it. And full fat Philadelphia, obviously, but it does taste really, really nice like that. That's delicious. I think I might need maybe a little bit more chilli flakes. Actually, all I'm going to add to that is a little bit of salt. Because I use bacon, I never added any salt. I always let the bacon cook first and then add the salt. Otherwise, it could end up too salty. And then that's that, that's that finished. Oh my God, that's delicious. Mmm, yum. And I'm just gonna warm that up later on when it comes to dinner time. This is the end result. That looks so yummy and creamy. You know, at Christmas time, when I'm having a few days off plan, I'm definitely gonna make the full fat version of this. Because if this is the Slimming World version and this is super, super delicious, the full fat one's going to be even better, isn't it? I mean, let's face it. Yep, that's that. I'm just going to remove that from the heat and I'll warm it up later on when it's time for dinner. And I've just finished the last couple of things I wanted to do. I've chopped up my snowball melon. I actually have like, it's massive this melon. It'll go for days. So I've got four big quart no they're eighths of the melon there that's half a melon and then for the other half i just chopped it up diced it up and put it in my big tub so i can just take it out whenever i'm fancying some melon which might be later today with the halloween movie fest and that we're having and then i've also peeled my eggs <laughs> why do i forget words all the time my eggs i'm just going to cover all this up and pop it in the fridge and then we're going to watch a movie